how do you explain the performance in Iowa, and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. You're Democrat frontrunner, everybody, <laughs> at least according to the polls. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. What? You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. Yeah, what the heck is that? It turns out, I think it's a reference to a John Wayne movie, and I believe, in fact, a Native American character refers to John Wayne that way. Uh, so I, I did do a little bit of due diligence, a little bit of research to figure this one out. But, wow. I mean, Mr. Magoo, a.k.a. Joe Biden, he, he just keeps showing you more and more of why he's a third-rate politician with a fourth-tier intellect. No one, no one in the Democratic establishment seems to want to accept this reality that is so apparent to the rest of us who are not invested, not just psychologically, but also perhaps professionally invested in Bidenism. You know, there are a lot of people out there that want to see Biden win, and they want to see Biden win for their own reasons. And those reasons have nothing to do with what's best for the country or anything else. They want to see Biden win because the Hillary apparatus will quickly attach to Joe Biden and and also some former Obama administration folks, I'm sure also feel like they could probably get ahead professionally in a Biden administration. I wasn't that there was one worthwhile uh, Democrat on Democrat attack ad over the weekend. It was kind of fun. Um, here's the here's the Biden camp slamming Mayor Pete, who really hasn't done very much, and uh, it's like he's like applying for the uh, applying for the entry level job of president which is not how we want things play clip 1 Barack Obama called Joe Biden the best vice president America's ever had but Pete Buttigieg doesn't think much of the vice president's record let's compare when President Obama called on him, Joe Biden helped lead the passage of the Affordable Care Act, which gave health care to 20 million people. And when parkgoers called on Pete Buttigieg, he installed decorative lights under bridges, giving citizens of South Bend colorfully illuminated rivers. Both Vice President Biden and former Mayor Buttigieg have taken on tough fights. Under threat of a nuclear Iran, Joe Biden helped to negotiate the Iran deal. And under threat of disappearing pets, Buttigieg negotiated lighter license regulations on pet chip scanners. Both Vice President Biden and former Mayor Pete have helped shape our economy. Joe Biden helped save the auto industry, which revitalized the economy of the Midwest and led the passage and implementation of the Recovery Act, saving our economy from a depression. Pete Buttigieg revitalized the sidewalks of downtown South Bend by laying out decorative brick.